Excuse me. What is going on, guys? TVM here. Welcome to another pretty cheap starter squad for FIFA 19. This is a hybrid squad, one of the first ones I've done. I normally do a league or all one nation, but uh, I've been inspired to do this. So between 30 and 40,000 coins is an estimate. Of course, we've got no idea what prices are going to be like. Rod Roberto from Espanol is my first goalkeeper. Not an awful lot to say about him. De Marcos is a player that has been used heavily in recent FIFAs in the very first sort of few weeks or so. And it's because he's always very nippy uh, when it comes to his pace. Uh, he's not the, the, the worst player in the world. He used to be a central midfield player, I do believe. So he does have the passing stats to, to boot as well. Not too bad. Shouldn't be expensive. Hermoso, this is an interesting one. I don't know whether he's going to be a left back or a centre back. At the moment in FIFA, he has both. But he plays more of a centre-back role for Espanyol. Gets that solid link to the goalkeeper. And at the end, I will show you the full team, albeit not pro very professional looking. But I will show you the, the full team. And now we move over to the left-hand side of the field. The left-back, Digne, I think is how you say it. The new Everton left-back from Barcelona. I would imagine he'll be around 79, possibly even 78 rated. I don't think he'll be that expensive. And full-backs in FIFA very early on, in particular the Premier League, do hold a high price for what they are, uh, but you should still be able to get him under 4k, I would imagine. The centre-back is going to be a hard link, and of course another new Everton man, Kurt Zuma. Wasn't actually aware of this until a few days ago, uh, but again, this shouldn't be expensive. He has lost a little bit of that pace that EA gave him a couple of seasons ago, but still, a pace in FIFA 19 isn't the be-all and end-all, so until at least until the first patch, you'll get away with Zuma, and he's a very strong, competent defender. This is where money starts to get spent. And Zonzi now of Roma, he could be 83, he could be 82. If he's 82, it's better for us. He'll still have that physical presence, but he'll be a bit cheaper. 83s, people might just be in FIFA 18 mode and might think, oh, I need to keep him for SBCs. We'll have to wait and see. Danilo Pereira, I'll be very surprised if he holds an 83 rated card in FIFA 19. I would imagine an 81, 82 rated is where he'll be. Again, a very physical player. This is a 4-2-2-2 variation, so we have two CDMs as opposed to the CMs you get in a standard 4-4-2. They dip back a little bit, basically, so we need that physical presence to protect the back four. El Shirawe pushed forward slightly, and in that left wing role, again, he is always a player that is used in the first couple of weeks of FIFA, and then sort of just blends into obscurity. Uh, just because he doesn't really do that well for Roma, doesn't get that many special cards in FIFA, so... People only ever use him for the first couple of weeks and then they just sort of forget he exists. But a good start to play nonetheless. Hanani, a player that I've not actually used yet in FIFA. So I'll probably be doing that in FIFA 19 within the first couple of weeks. Very, very pacey. Not the most physical, but good ball control and dribbling skills, I would imagine. And again, very, very cheap. And gives you the chemistry in this as well, which is obviously what we're looking for when you build a hybrid. Uh, moving on to one of the first of two strikers, Morega. I really like this guy, despite the fact that he doesn't have the best of, of skill moves or indeed weak foot, but 88 pace with that physical as well. And you're going to need a very physical striker in FIFA 19 because physical ability is going to trump most traits and attributes. So with that being said, Morega could be a very good fit, as will be Belotti. I've already mentioned this guy a few times. I am tipping this guy to be one of the better strikers in FIFA, and in particular the early stages. Again, very physical, doesn't have the pace that Morega has, but still is no slouch. Has very good ball control, but in more than anything, has volleys. And volleys are going to be a big thing, as well as long shots in FIFA 19, at least until that patch. Not the most professional looking thing in the world, but that's basically what the team will look like in a 4-4-2-2 variation. A lot of dead links there, but every player has 10 chemistry with loyalty, nine chemistry without loyalty, a manager would uh, would go a long way into helping that as well. Nice looking team, shouldn't be that expensive, and you can obviously change out players like Belotti and Zonzi if it becomes a little bit too expensive. Players like Defrel would be a nice option to throw in there of Sampdoria, maybe even Quagliarella, who, yes, he scored a great goal in real life, but I have mentioned him before that. He looks like a very good player for FIFA as well as his volley ability just being sensational. So with that being said, if you've enjoyed it and you want to see more, do me a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until the next time, goodbye.